All right, here we go. Another episode of Canada on the Rocks. I am your host, Fadi Kudair, local realtor here with Southern Group Ottawa. And today we have Ben Morris from Wesley Clover. Ben, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. It's been a while. We're trying to get this together, I think, for the last couple of months. And I think last week we had one of your colleagues, uh, Guy Levesque, on the show. And uh, we talked a lot about Canada North our North business and what they bring to the table. And what I wanted to do is follow up on that conversation and really concentrate a little bit more about Wesley Clover. What do you guys do? Your mandate as an organization, your presence within the city, and then just kind of go from there if that makes any sense for you. That works great. Fantastic. So let's start off actually with a little bit of background. Let the folks know about you, yourself, Ben Morris. What to say. So I was born in the UK. My parents emigrated to Canada when I was three years old, started living life in Canada in Vancouver, Mm -hmm. moved across the country, spent seven years in Toronto or Oakville. And then uh, when I was 16, uh, which turns out to be a very young and impressionable age, uh, moved to Canada. Nice. And so I've lived in Canada for, you know, since that time. And candidly, you know, when I moved to Ottawa, I was struck by how unique this environment was. And it, you know, that has stuck with me ever since. And so, you know, much of my life has been influenced by that move. Uh, you know, my choice to, you know, have my second post-secondary education, you know, in Ottawa was was an important factor as a result of moving here. I've seen how amazing our community is and have wanted to stay and contribute as best I can. So that's a little bit about my background in terms of how I ended up in Canada. Fantastic, yeah. I've been in tech for my career. I've been very fortunate to see and experience a, a whole bunch of things and, you know, looking forward to chatting about, you know, how amazing our city is, where I think there's opportunity, what, you know, what I think we can be doing better and and also what we should be grateful for and really what we should lean on to you know to push this great city forward fantastic and one of the things that you've mentioned so far i haven't heard the word boring yeah which is fantastic because the biggest thing that kind of grinds my gears when it comes to ottawa is we hear that saying ottawa's boring ottawa is boring and for the last maybe you know five minutes or so all you've been saying is praise it's fantastic it's amazing the unique is a word to come out yeah so with that being said i want to kind of just dig into wesley clover before you go there though yeah please let's make a promise to each other we will not use the word boring on this podcast no or this video you know, at the end of the day you are what you say about your city 100 percent. and if we use that word over and over and over again it becomes it kind of gets passed along exactly it becomes real that's it it, and, it's like sitting in the mirror and keep telling yourself you're this, you're this, you're this. And if you're going positive, it's going to be positive. If you go negative, well, it's all here. You're going to be negative. That's it. So, you know, I, I don't mean to not sound genuine, but certainly this city, you can choose to live here. I can choose to live here. We vote by living here. We don't have to if we don't want to. And I vote every day to live here because it is such an amazing place. And yeah. when you are fortunate to come from a different place, when you are fortunate to have uh, the ability to travel and to see the rest of the world, you are reminded very quickly how special our city is. 100%. We are fortunate to be in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. We have four very distinct seasons. We have some amazing qualities as a city. In- Sometimes in the same day. <laughs> Absolutely. Four seasons in Absolutely. one day. Absolutely. It's Ottawa for you. It is definitely like, you know, like you said, if you've been traveling, if you've done all of that, it comes down to the fact that you have the choice and you still choose to come back to Ottawa. That's it. Now, I think what's interesting about Ottawa is for all of the sort of pain that we suffer on a daily basis, it's really a function of growing pains. Mm-hmm. You know, we have all of the usual things that you have in any growing city, traffic challenges, development challenges, people that want to do things more quickly than perhaps they can. But what's amazing about our city is that there are new opportunities that present themselves every day. That's not an overhype. We are fortunate to live in a very diverse city when it comes to employment. You know, we have an incredibly stable government sector that continues to, to do its own thing at its own pace, and that provides some phenomenal stability. We're also fortunate to have the largest cluster of high tech in the country, mm-hmm. and that presents its own interesting opportunities. And so whether it's a high growth company that is you know hitting the headlines and making news and hiring a ton of people, and we've had countless varieties of those and countless examples of those over the many decades, 
But that is also a magnet for young people to our city. That yeah. is also a magnet for very talented people to our city. That also attracts a lot of really interesting business tourism and people with influence to our city. And then you sort of add on this whole capital city thing where you have dignitaries and all sorts of people from around the world coming to visit. I don't think you can get a better place. Now, no, we it's, can... it's a mix of everything, which is, like I said, diversification is really the key. That's it. So, you know, would I like to have better weather or be closer to a beach? Absolutely. But I can also get on a plane and go there. 100%. So that's that's my take on the city. And, and there's also the, you know, the, the pluses and minuses of that kind of weather, right? Like if, if I want to, you know, go down south, yeah, I might be a little bit less safe. I'm going to enjoy my week. Sure. And I come back that's and it. live with the family and have, it's one of the greatest cities in the world, I think, for families and building families and, and building businesses as well too from inception, which is one of the reasons why we want to dig into Wesley Clover. Yeah. Well, so let's talk a little bit about Wesley Clover. So the, you know, the, the official name is Wesley Clover International Corporation. It's really a, an umbrella or a holding company yeah. for the Matthews family who have been in the city for over 50 years. Sir Terry Matthews is still very influential. He beats us into the office every day. He's the last one to leave. He is the penultimate grinder. He's an incredible example to business leaders around the world and is a real gem. Wesley Clover International is comprised of about 50% of our holdings are in the hospitality space, hospitality and, and real estate space. So, you know, commercial real estate with a significant parcel in Canada North. And then, you know, the other part of our portfolio is uh, focused on tech. Hundreds of companies over the years have been either incubated or funded by Wesley Clover around the world. Today, we have, you know, somewhere near about 100 companies that are still in our portfolio that are active. We have businesses that are based in Chile. We have Turkey, France, India, you know, the UK, France, all over the world. And it really provides us as investors with a unique market signal on where things are going. So what is trending in the Middle East? Mm -hmm. What is trending in Europe? What is trending in South America? All of those inputs really help inform where we place, you know, the tens of millions of dollars a year in new technology companies it provides some very unique perspective. I would be dismissed or missed if I don't kind of bring this up, sir. Terrence Matthews, phenomenal man. Mm -hmm. I actually worked with him for him at one point at uh, Prana Forms, sure. one of the, the companies that you guys are part of. Yep. And that man has the ability to know every name that ever worked for him. Sure does. And even if he met you once, you'd walk in the office, hey, Fatty, how's it going? And you, you'd be surprised. Like, I, I've met him like maybe six months ago, and he still remembers my name. Yep. And that to me is like the hallmark of a great business leader. So let's dig into Wesley Clover Holding and specifically for Canada North. Yep. What are you guys doing in Canada North today that's sort of making the move? Oh, okay. So, you know, there's stuff that I can talk about and stuff that I can't talk about because we're still planning it. Let's talk about Canada North just in general for a minute. So a lot of people may not recognize or realize March Road is the third busiest street in all of Ottawa. Correct. So it's a hugely popular corridor that serves that north-south sort of axis on the west side of the city. You know, Canada North is home to 30,000 technology workers. Canada North is home to over 500 technology companies. Canada North has a fast-growing, you know, residential home market. And Canada North is where we have nearly 4 million square feet of office space inside uh, a, a portfolio called KRP Properties. Yeah. And then on top of that, we have the Brook Street Hotel, the Marshes Golf Club, and a few other things. Wesley Clover Parks is not necessarily part of Canada North, the geography, but Wesley Clover Parks is a big part of our strategy to attract people to the city and, you know, fill hotel rooms. So is there any particular item on that list, Fatty, that you want to yeah, go into? Yeah, yeah. Actually, what, I want to dig a little bit more about Wesley Clover because I feel like Wesley Clover Park, I feel like it's missed a lot of the times in the city. Like everybody's talking about, you know, lands down. Everybody's talking about sure. Le Breton Flats. Tell me a little bit more about Wesley Clover. So one of the unique things about Ottawa, as everybody knows, is we've got this green belt around the city. Mm -hmm. You know, so to get to Canada, you got to drive through the green belt. The NCC owns that space. So the National Capital Commission owns the space and tells people what you can and can't do with that space. Wesley Clover Parks is a 500 plus acre area that is leased to Wesley Clover. And, you know, we have chosen to put on a variety of programming within the park, you know, to get best use of it. So there are recreation facilities that include 
you know, soccer, uh, soccer field, grounds for show jumping, grounds for equestrian, grounds for cross-country ski trails in the winter. It's a beautiful parcel of land in the heart of the city. You know, we are, as a business, trying to develop, not just for the citizens of the city, but also to attract people to the city. Yeah. So, there there's are, also, if I'm not mistaken, there's also the uh, Christmas lights as well, too. That's sure. We've got fantastic programming show. for Christmas lights. We've, yeah. got, we've got a campsite that we run as part of the mandate for the National Capital Commission. We had a great... Um, that campsite is always full. Uh, you know what? I stayed there as a kid. Yeah. I enjoyed it a great deal. I've been deal. there at least five or six times. Even though I live in the city, I live down the street from it. That's but it. I still like the fact that I can go within the city and camp. It's got to be one of the best deals in the city. Yeah. So let's dig into the Wesley Clover holdings with all the organizations within Canada, like yep. as far as, you know, what you guys do to support those incubation sure. to fruition. Well, you talked a minute about, you know, Pronto Forms now, True Contact. Coincidentally, today is a very special day for True Contact. They have a special board meeting, finalize the acquisition of the business by Battery Ventures for $150 million oh, wow. US. So if you're looking for anybody from True Contact today, they're all in a boardroom. Um, in Canada North. Pronto Forms, uh, or True Context as they're now called and as they were originally called, they're a classic example of a technology company that, you know, is a 20-year overnight success from Canada North. Yeah. So why don't we walk through that business for a minute and really talk yeah, about absolutely, it? Absolutely, because that will actually give the audience a full idea of what you guys do in terms of funding and, and helping organizations like that. Sure. Really so Pronto Forms was founded or started by a gentleman called Alvaro Pombo. Very nice man. That is a great guy. He he also moved to Ottawa as an immigrant in his 20s. He was the um, CIO at Newbridge Network. And when Newbridge was sold to Alcatel in the, in the year 2000, Alvaro you know, left the business and within a couple hours got a phone call from Terry and said, I don't want you to leave the city. I want to do something with you. Figure it out and let me know and I'll fund you. And so, you know, that's the sort of the first lesson in life. Always work with people that you trust and that you know who work hard. 100%. And so, you know, here's Alvaro, who had some experience and background in, you know, the utility space, the utility business, and thought, well, hey, I'm, I'm going to try and automate the paper business and turn it into online forms business. And this is back in early 2000s when, you know, all the things that you and I have in our pockets these days didn't exist. True. So here's Alvaro that starts a business called, you know, True Context. It's about trying to change the world and help businesses go paperless and, you know, over time that business developed, Wesley Clover would participate in funding rounds as it grew. We would help them with some channels to market, help them with some introductions, help them build their network to grow the business. Mm -hmm. We eventually helped the company go public at a time when it was very difficult to raise money and the business stayed public for many years. And eventually Battery Ventures came knocking, which is a, you know, a very well-respected brand out of the, uh, you know, out of California and said, hey, there's there's something very special here. We want to acquire it and actually grow it, take it private using our own, you know, capital resources. We're going to, you know, put a bunch of money into the company. We trust and we want the existing management team to help us do that. And so Alvaro is now going to be off on his next adventure of growing True Context as a private business with a lot more money going in, into the company um, and hopefully doing some acquisitions to grow a little more quickly. So fantastic. So, so, you know, if I summarize Wesley Clover's participation, um, and it's a classic example of what we do on, on a daily basis, we work with people that we trust, we empower them with a little bit of capital. We help them start their business. We leverage our global network of, you know, customers and contacts and go to market and commercialization. And then over time we stick with that entrepreneur, help them grow a team and, uh, you know, try and help them find some some successful exit. Mm -hmm. And just on that, like some of the most interesting companies, what are some of the most interesting companies you guys worked with within the Canada sector? So I, look, every company we have in our portfolio is exciting to somebody. Every portfolio company that we have is exciting to us because we believe in the founders, we believe in the value prop, we believe in the direction and the problem that they're trying to solve. Fun thing about technology is, is that there's new opportunities every day yeah. that develops. You know, you can think about your own real estate business, for example. How you market to people has changed. 
how you talk to people and engage people changes regularly and you've got to adapt. Tech is the same. And so, look, I would love to tell you about, you know, a business that we have in France at the moment that's helping the Paris Olympic Committee manage traffic flows using AI in video. I would love to talk about a local company called Solink that is, you know, has their video security and business operations software deployed in 4,000 Tim Hortons locations across the country and 50,000 locations around the world that help business owners be more profitable and more efficient. And so when you and I go through Tim Hortons in a morning to go and order a coffee or, you know, order a breakfast, Solink is working behind the scenes to make that experience more seamless and more profitable for, you know, the franchise owner. Just a fun stat, here's, quote, a little Canada company that is ingesting and uploading 10 times more video to the cloud than all of YouTube every hour, every minute of the day. Jeez. So that's a statement. That is a statement. <clears throat> that is a statement for sure. You know, another company, and I, I can go down the list of 100 companies that we're involved in. Another company, Solace Systems, Solace, another amazing company from Canada North, founded in Canada North. Every time you swipe your American Express, that data goes across a Solace network, regardless of where you are on the planet. Mm-hmm. Every time you get on an airplane, that plane is tracked using technology from Solace. Every time your bag goes through the baggage check or the baggage claim, it goes across a Solace system. That is a material business that has a global impact that you never hear about in Canada North. Yeah, and that's a small, look, when you think about it, it's a small little real estate that we have in Canada North that is doing massive, massive movements across the globe. Sure it is. So Canada North is effectively a four square kilometer parcel of land where all this tech happens. Every time you turn on your mobile phone, something in that phone um, was developed in Canada, Canada North. North. Yeah. Every, I tell people yeah. this all the time. Like you look at Canada North and it's per capita or per square foot, not even square kilometer. It's pound by pound, the most profitable square foot in Ottawa. So, well, hang on a second. Let's, you know, let's be real with the numbers. The amount of GDP that's generated out of Canada North, this teeny tiny little part of Ottawa, is equivalent to about the same as the entire aerospace industry across the country. Yeah. And so when you think about, and now you're going to get on sort of my favorite topic of the day at the moment. When you think about, you know, support for technology companies in Canada, and when you think about what we as a country could be doing to help our own companies grow. It's really trying to, you know, look at the lens of buying things with this idea of supporting Canadians. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, as Canadians, we're not very good at buying Canadian. And maybe that's because we're overshadowed by our neighbors to the south. But, you know, if we're going to support our local companies, and, you know, I know I'm talking tech because that's my, that's in my DNA, but whether that's, you know, supporting the local baker, supporting the local yeah. sports shops, supporting the local ski hills, supporting the local, pick anything local. We should be trying to go, not a lot, but a little bit out of our way to, you know, conduct our lives because we vote with our wallet, you know, to buy local. I, I think that if we could do one thing as a city, that would be a remarkable achievement. Mm-hmm. Really appreciate it, Ben, being on the show and uh, what you bring to the city. Again, folks, if you like what you see, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get the alerts and then find out more about Canada and the city of Ottawa and and the lovely businesses that we have. And we are on that crusade to make sure that Ottawa is never a boring city. Told you not to use that word again. (laughs) Thanks again, Ben. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for the invite.